Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. This is the fifth video for memory based questions for SEBI phase 1 year 2020. Earlier to this we have made all the questions for 2022 descriptive and MCQ part uh, for phase 1 and phase 2. And also there have been four videos for the year 2020 on MCQ and one video for descriptive questions. If you haven't watched those videos please watch them after watching this particular video. I'll be showing you the last 10 questions from the year 2020 and you have to attempt all the 10 questions. At the end, I'll be showing you the answers. Just uh, verify your answers, evaluate your uh, attempt and give yourself a plus one for every correct attempt and minus 0.25 for every incorrect attempt. At the end, I will tell you at what score you are lying and what should be your line of preparation. Now. Let's go to the first question for this particular video. Here it, uh, you have to identify the statement which is true and you have to read the statements and identify it. If you want to pause the video to read it, you can do so. And once you are done with the attempt, you can resume the video and can attempt the next question. The second question is related to the IP addressing in networking. There is a some set of question where you have to identify a relation of this particular A and B network with sub subnet and subnetting mask kind of thing. So all these things is related to the 42nd question. 43rd question is again a statement based question is straightforward. So if you know this, you will be able to answer it right away. You don't need to have any kind of further understanding. This is static yet conceptual question. 44th question is again related to the IP addresses and here you have to identify that out of which these IPs will be having 5 networks and 16 hosts. Question number 45 is related to the shell scripting, how you have to pass the arguments to the script and you have to correctly choose the answer. Next question is related to the uh, strings and here you have to identify that if this is the text string and you are giving uh, something to pick uh, from this string how you are going to do it and then you are having this particular options. Question number 47 is related to the regular expressions and you have to identify which particular regular expression will not match to the statement that is given in the question. Question number 48 is related to complete binary tree and here you have to identify which of these have at least a maximum uh, one children in their nodes. Question number 49 is related to the space complexity of selection uh, sort in the worst case. So you have to identify which one will be the correct answer static yet conceptual question. The last question in this video is related to quick sort. Here you have been given some kind of times and you have to identify the best case that is needed to sort 100 names. So that was all for the questions. If you feel like you need to watch the video again, you just go to that part of the video, attempt the question and come back for the answers. So these are the answers for these 10 questions. I hope you have attempted them honestly and evaluated them honestly. If you get anything between 0 to 5, it is a very bad attempt. Not exactly a bad attempt. I'll be saying a poor attempt. And you need to buck up yourself for the examination because with this level of uh, preparation it will be very difficult to crack this exam if you are getting anything in between six to seven it is a decent score like average score but you need to buck up more because you are on the borderline if you are having anything between eight nine and ten it is good and you just need to take care where you went wrong and learn those concepts I hope you like this video and it was uh, helpful for you to get the previous year paper questions understanding. If you like this video, do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any update from our side. Prepare 50% faster with our exam B by enrolling to our course and looking at our course, you can do so by going to www.examb.com. Subscribe to our demo course, which is for free. Check it out. If you still have any questions in your mind, you can write that in comment section or you can just uh, reach out to us on the number that is being flashed on the screen or on the email that is given there. So that was all from my side. See you in the next video. Till then, keep practicing and stay updated.